Hi, I'm Lucy and I'm the iMechies archivist. In January 2022, the institution celebrates the 175th anniversary of its foundation. Ahead of this, I delved into the institution's archives to see what I could discover about the circumstances that led to the foundation of the institution 175 years ago. This is the letter that was circulated to mechanics and engineers in the autumn of 1846, inviting them to meet to discuss creating an institution of mechanical engineers. Much like the institution today, the letter stated that the aims would be to give an impulse to inventions likely to be useful for the world. The letter, signed by Edward Humphreys, Archibald Slate, James McConnell, and Charles Byer, invited interested mechanics and engineers to attend a meeting at the Queen's Hotel in Birmingham at 2 p.m. on Wednesday, the 7th of October, 1846. This is the institution's first membership register. Our first president, George Stevenson, is listed as original member number 50. The institution was founded in 1847 in Birmingham, and so we decided to check out some of the places that were mentioned in the archive. First, we headed to the Licky Incline, location of the first conversation about forming an institution of mechanical engineers. With a gradient of 1 in 37.7, Licky is the steepest mainline incline in Britain. It is believed that it was here in the autumn of 1846 that a group of engineers came to watch locomotive trials. While sheltering from the rain, they discussed the idea of forming an institution of mechanical engineers. None of this group of forward thinkers made up of James McConnell, Charles Byer, Richard Peacock, George Selby, Archibald Slate and Charles Geach gained the individual fame or accolade of the institution's first president, George Stevenson, but instead represented a theme integral to engineering, that of a team of unsung engineers working together towards a common goal. The result of those discussions was a round robin letter which was forwarded to prominent engineers and mechanics of the time. It invited them to attend a meeting at the Queen's Hotel on Wednesday the 7th of October 1846 at 2 p.m. for more formal discussions. Let's pay tribute to their vision of progress and look forward with confidence knowing that mechanical engineering has a unique contribution to make to the progress of the human race. Next up, we're heading to what was the location of the Queen's Hotel. We're here at the birthplace of the Imeki. At the former entrance to Birmingham's Curzon Street Station, also the home to the Queen's Hotel, where on the 7th of October 1846, a group of engineers met to formally discuss the foundation of the Institution of Mechanical Engineers. Today, this sits on the edge of a building site for the new HS2 terminus, a national high-speed railway which supports the UK's transition to a net zero carbon economy. Another historical moment. It was also here that on Wednesday the 27th of January 1847 that the Institution of Mechanical Engineers was formally founded at a meeting which included a speech given by the newly elected President George Stevenson. The role of George Stevenson and the events that led to that meeting have been the subject of much myth and speculation. George Stevenson's biographer Samuel Smiles, who it has been said never let facts get in the way of a good story, recorded that the engineers who gathered at the Leaky Incline in the autumn of 1846 were angry at a perceived snub of George Stevenson by the Institution of Civil Engineers who had refused him admission to their institution, citing he was merely a blacksmith. However, this theory appears to have been a myth, as colleagues at the Institution of Civil Engineers archives have been able to find no evidence that George Stevenson applied for membership or that an application from him was refused. Whilst I was here, I met up with some of the institution's Birmingham members at the Black Country Living History Museum to find out how they felt about their region playing such a pivotal part in the institution's founding and to learn what messages they had for future engineers. 
On the 175th anniversary of the institution, how does it feel knowing that the Midland region, and specifically Birmingham, were so pivotal in our foundation? The Midland region is steeped in its heritage for engineering. Birmingham was known as the city of a thousand and one trades. So engineering is in built to us. It's, uh, it's really a big part of the Midland region. The institution has been here for 175 years. Engineering uh, is all about innovation, driving progress, and that's what the institution standard for back then, and I believe it still does now. At our heart, Birmingham is all about driving engineering. First uh, passenger railway, the first car stand bridge. So it's, it's really interesting to be a part of this heritage. I'm really delighted to be a part of this institution. What societal issues are important to you and how can engineers help be part of the solution? When the institution founded, it was very much about driving technology progression and that was potentially the detriment to the environment. I think we need to really, as engineers, really shift focus to about how we use technology to support the environment but also use more nature-based solutions. The main aspect of the moment, of course, is the climate change and air quality. And we're running various programs that we're hoping to take into schools as well. Scarcity of water, and uh, especially in underprivileged areas around the world. Tell us a little about your education and STEM activities. Midland region, we're very keen on STEM activities. We attend most years the Cosford Air Show. We've gone to the Coventry Science Museum. We've done the Malvern Festival of Innovation. And why are these activities important for the future? We have a desperate shortage of engineers in the UK. And it's important that we train and develop young people and get them interested, get them keen get them to enjoy engineering. And why is it important to connect with engineers in your region? Engineering is about working as a team. It's not just purely mechanical, it's multidisciplinary. And part of that is communication, sharing ideas and learning from each other. Why is it important for innovators and forward thinkers to work as part of a diverse team? A key priority for the Birmingham Area Committee is about sharing knowledge between our experienced members and our youngest members and also the cross industries. Engineering now is so diverse, it's important that they get a broad knowledge of all the aspects of engineering so they can look at an, a total overview of what problems there are and look at uh, what solutions they can bring to those problems. Do you have a message for future engineers? Enjoy engineering. It's a great occupation. Uh, as you can tell, I've been in engineering a fair number of years and get enjoyment out of it, I think, is the message. I thoroughly enjoyed being able to visit the Midlands and seeing firsthand some of the key locations of the foundation of the institution. One thing that is clear is that the anniversary is a wonderful opportunity to celebrate the achievements of the institution and the contribution of mechanical engineering to society, whilst also inspiring a future generation of engineers. We aim to celebrate and honour our past whilst looking confidently towards the future.